is Charlie, and I'll be doing today's devotional, day 22. Just a little bit about myself. Uh, I've attended New Vine for the past eight months, and I've had the honor of serving the Young Adult Singles Life Group uh, as the Life Group Leader. And I'm currently working as a Web Consultant and Accounting Associate. And I moved here with uh, my family about two years ago from Wisconsin, Go Bucks. And I'm currently taking a certification course in data analytics at Georgia Tech. Uh, so just to get us started here on day 22, uh, I'm going to read uh, both Bible verses and the topic for today as to why Jesus came to die it was to bring us to God. So the first verse is from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18. Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God. The second verse is from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. The gospel means good news. So when we as Christians who believe in the gospel say that we are Christians, what we're really doing is we're saying that we have received the best news of all, which is that uh, God has saved us all from sin. Um, but what the devotional says is that um, there's a difference between um, being saved from punishment and being saved in a way that points us towards God. Uh, when I briefly worked as an English teacher, <laughs> one of the things I remember struggling with when I was starting was trying to figure out how to help my students learn the things they were, they were studying. Um, so whether that was writing five paragraph essays or trying to learn new vocabulary. And uh, at one point uh, I handed out like low grade after low grade after low grade. And I noted, I, I realized at that point, you know, something had to change. Uh, my approach wasn't working. And what felt awful was that the students knew that they weren't doing well. Um, and, but even then, like penal penalizing them wasn't changing anything. Um, I realized that for a lot of them, uh, they simply didn't know how to properly read through our materials. Um, so I started showing them reading strategies, study habits, and at one point I tried to make a game out of who could summarize uh, what we read and who could do it the fastest, and, but they had to include the main idea and supporting details. Um, in the end, uh, I only taught for less than a year, but uh, I may not have been able to help all of them, uh, but it definitely helped a large number of my students uh, to make improvements. And uh, what this devotional uh, kind of reminded me, reminded me was that for the longest time, uh, I think my Christian life was kind of like those students who were getting bad grades over and over again. Um, even though I knew I was saved, um, no matter what I tried, I kept messing up and I kept making bad decisions and it wasn't really, my spiritual life wasn't improving, like nothing was going anywhere. And it really didn't register, um, the whole concept of salvation really didn't register with me until I remembered uh, where salvation comes from. And it's just freely given um, by Christ, Not, and it's, it has nothing to do with what I do. Um, so in the same way, this devotional reminds us that um, only from God himself are we able to live freely and fully, and that this whole time, uh, God has been trying to build up spiritual study habits for us, uh, and none of this would have been possible unless Christ had come down to do the work to make it possible. Um, so from the last paragraph here in the devotional, it says, long before Christ came, God revealed himself as the source of full and lasting pleasure. From Psalm chapter 16, verse 11, you make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Then he sent Christ to suffer that he might bring us closer to God. I hope you took something away from this today. And thank you very much for listening, Uvine.
and I hope you all have a blessed day.